So next, I have the VirtualBox installed. Now we're gonna go with the Mac OS Catalina installation. Uh, let me show this over here. So that's Kevin, uh, his good friend. It's uh, his channel. Basically, he has done all the heavy lifting. What I'm doing is just copying it and uh, um, documenting my process. It's, uh, but uh, for the actual files, go to this video, find this video. Uh, there's a VirtualBox link, but you can uh, search it. But that's uh, um, if you click on this one, you'll get uh, these two. For keep in mind, this one is for AMD. I have an AMD processor, and you can see. I believe without this code, uh, this will still work. Um, but that's what my assumption because on my search. Uh, it was always for everything was for Intel and all you had to do it was add a code for AMD processor in the VMX file uh, for VMware I believe it's gonna be s s about the same for uh, VirtualBox uh, you can search uh, there are sites the same sites that I reviewed in, uh, in my failed attempts uh, videos they are there in these websites i did see for virtualbox as well i'm just following this video because he was uh, there for like 33 minutes he doc showed it uh, documented it and all we i have to do or you have to do is just follow his video get this files and hopefully we me and you we will be able to install it and enjoy mac os for uh, learning purposes just like uh, where is that this one, Lincoln Learning, Mac OS, Essential Training. And so that's why I wanted, because, so while it's waiting uh, to download, I'm gonna pause this video here, and once it's done, we'll come back and start the installation. All right, so everything's in place. I've downloaded everything from CapTech to CapTech folder. Here it is, everything. Uh, let's go and fire up uh, VirtualBox. So I believe it's new. I'm gonna make name it Mac OS. Uh, next RAM. That looks good. Hard disk. Dynamically, yep. Is I'm gonna go one twenty. Create. Oh, that was create. Okay, settings. That was for fast journal. System. Floppy is not here. This place supposed to be this one. Video memory, he said to put it to the maximum uh, storage here and add let's go to nope not here I put everything in storage Mac get tech and right there so choose this choose Okay, I think we're done. So I'm now all left to do is run those CMD commands and uh, we're gonna go towards that. Let's check uh, virtual box here, Pro processes. VMware is running. VMware, oh, okay, VMware, where it is, not services. okay so i guess uh, that is done let's go here and nope run this uh powershell no cmd run as admin and 
next what needs to be done is that uh, devdeck has this file so you see cd into this where my virtual box installer is program files i did not install it there did i no so i think i installed it in Ah, CD. That's all that in E, right? No. Come on. Right there. Hmm. There you go. Box. Okay, everything is there. I believe all we have to do is run these things. And let's see what happens. Okay. Let me... Okay, so I did the exact same mistake like uh, <laughs> in the video. I did not change the name. So my virtual machine name is... You see he actually did that for me but I forgot uh, I believe we did it Mac OS we did it like Mac OS that was the name so no. Save it. And uh, try to run it one more time. What will happen? I believe it worked. So, so far, look, everything looks good. Let's uh, exit it here. Next, I believe, is to run the visual box. So let's click on start. Finger crossed. Nothing happened. Okay. Something happening. Virtual box loading fail. No Apple logo. I'll be so happy if I get this working then I can complete my course in a hands-on and once you have done hands-on you are so much confident in, in an interview uh, I have had uh, two interviews uh, that uh, actually asked about Mac OS and I was surprised they wanted me to know about Mac one was the university the other one uh, is an MSP kind of environment where they have uh, to support users all around the United States and uh, she actually told me that my only concern with your application is not enough Mac support and I was like what it's really have gotten that uh, steam behind it that uh, it's in there the university obviously they it was a big thing even in the job descriptions uh, they wanted to somebody who knows Mac OS uh, my strong uh, suit was in Windows uh, net, uh, troubleshooting, so that uh, I will see how it goes. So actually, I'm gonna oh, let's start. <laughs> I 
I'm not sure should, should I wait like uh, Kevin for all this or should I just uh, pause the video and unpause it in between all right let's pause it and uh, I will be back once it's uh, done one once it does start doing some up oh, there's the Apple logo I think I saw a uh, max screen for like a split second. Uh, oh, my window is almost okay. Installing the max by text viewer. Uh, text viewer, I believe I saw uh, that name somewhere while I was searching. Hmm. Oh yeah, this was the website that I was trying to access, but uh, it would not load the page. The and the page for uh, uh, Catalina on our VMware. Yep. All right, so let's pause it. We know it's going great. And from Kevin video, you can see that it runs smoothly for him at least. Uh, hopefully it will do the same for me. Um, I'm gonna pause it and once it's uh, all near here somewhere, I will unpause it. So about a minute left and we are still going. It definitely taking longer than it's showing on the screen. So to prove that, let's uh, wait over here and see if uh, <clears throat> in under minute now do we get to get off of the screen then. <clears throat> Less than a minute remaining, okay. So I was definitely right it's been a minute and uh, this thing is definitely running slower than the timer on the screen it could be for any number of reason but uh, we can do anything but to wait I'm gonna pause the video again and as soon as it changes screen I'm gonna uh, unpause all right so it's doing something it's saying automatically restarting in this minute so let's see what happens I just hope it does not go installing all over again because that would be a disaster I do remember in one of the videos I saw there were the like the logo will appear over here you can um, remove the CD all right so it's doing something now that uh, line of code uh, it took uh, minutes to go you know one by one loading something 
finally the screen changed I have a you can see uh, cursor mouse there so there is that uh, rainbow wheel God, it would have been maybe an hour long window there you go we have the I believe we have the operating system there I'm gonna pause this video for just a quick one second here all right so we're gonna go to United States uh, United States continue a little bit slow there that and privacy okay continue don't transfer any information yeah Apple ID I don't have one create a new Apple ID mm. let's go if uh, let's see if it let me create one could not create Apple ID. okay Apple ID set up later Skip. Terms and condition. Agree. Agree. Full name. Account name. Password. Hint optional so let's go continue <laughs> so I believe it's creating a local account <clears throat> okay express setup Let's uh, let's get with the express analytics. Continue weekly report. Set up later. We can s set up later. The rainbow wheel there. Spinning, spinning. So which? theme we will choose I'm gonna go with light and it's setting up introduction uh, okay and I have the identify your keyboard on the left side of keyboard that can't be identified press the key immediately to the right of the shift key on the left Press the key on only once do not hold on the key for a long time okay and see United States okay great that's cool so I have I believe a Mac OS uh, working Mac OS uh, installation so Safari is doing the dance I hope it's doing the dance to open up and it did now I'm gonna go close these two messages and I'm gonna try to go to google.com by typing because I wanted to see if my keyboard is working or not and I have a working macOS 
I'm so happy uh, it worked I'm gonna definitely uh, play my way around for my learning for the essentials course and I'm very sure that uh, my son will um, be on my computer for quite some time now uh, he he just wanted this uh, Mac OS as well so it's a win-win but I'm very glad this worked special thanks for Kevin Captech uh, uh, let me go to his right there for uh, this video don't forget to watch the whole video and uh, definitely big shout out thank you Kevin all right so I have a working uh, Mac OS there I'm gonna end this video here and see you with the next one